I spent three hours building something out of Lego. So the first thing that I'm going to be starting with is looking up some reference images so I know all the details that I need to add and how big I need to make it. At first I picked up an 8x8 plate, but then I soon realized that it wasn't going to work just because looking back at the reference images, the B is 7x7 blocks. This is tricky because there's no such thing as a 7x7 plate. So I had to improvise and I grabbed my yellow bricks and I stacked them in a 7x7 pattern. Then it was time for the face. To be honest, this was much more easier than I thought it would be. And since Minecraft is already in block form, it just made placing the tiles very easy. After that, I placed down the eyes and then I added the antennas. Or is it antennae? <laughs> I forget. But I used inverted slopes, a one by one brick, and then I covered the showing studs with tiles. Then I just continued working on the body until I added headlight bricks with a one by one plate, which will be for the wings later on. I also added more headlight bricks on the bottom for where the two little legs will go. Then I continue with the alternating yellow and brown pattern until I add more headlight bricks for the back legs. Then we add another layer of yellow and brown, and now we got the head and body mostly completed. And now we can attach the legs on the bottom and finally start on the wings. The wings are very tricky because they are so thin. So I had to make an outline of the shape of the wings that I wanted. And then I grabbed my clear parts to fill in the gaps and to connect the white tiles together. Once I finished that, I built a reversed version of the other one. And now it's time to add both of the wings on. And now it's starting to look a lot like the Minecraft Bee, but we aren't finished, we still have the back to do. At just about this moment, I had one of the best ideas, but I got sidetracked and I built myself a taco. I wanted to add tiles on the back of the Bee, but it was much more difficult than I realized just because of the anti studs. So I added these little structures with bricks with studs on the side, and I attached this little frame to the back to where it fits perfectly to the back of the bee. Once I attached the frame all nice and dandy, I added reddish brown tiles to the back. You're probably wondering why there's a little hole in its behind, and that is because I'm going to be adding a little drawer to it. I attached some plates together, and then I started adding bricks. After doing several layers, I attached some plates together to finish the front of the drawer. Then I place down some tiles, and you're probably wondering why there is a stud showing in the center of the drawer. And that is for the stinger, which also acts as a handle for the drawer when you pull it out. And then we can just slide the drawer right in and the bee is now complete.